I'd like you to pretend that I'm your business coach for the next 15 minutes or so. And we're going to talk about five ways to reconnect in 2022. And we're not going to do it in the order that you would normally do the five W's. So the next of our five W's is where. Where are you going to find yourself spending time? We used to take for granted that we had a whole bunch of different functions we could go to. We could be among our colleagues, we could be among our prospects in a physical location, and then that was taken away from us for a while. Hopefully we're coming back to that being a regular thing we can do. And so I want you to think, where am I gonna be this year? Where am I gonna spend my time? Where am I gonna spend my energy? When you're targeting niche markets, one of the most important things to identify yourself is where are the watering holes where those niches hang out? Those are simply physical or virtual spaces where groups of your niche markets hang out. So where are they gonna spend time? Are they at conferences? Are they at you know trade shows? Are they at networking events? Are they at the local rink? You know, Depending on what you're selling, if you're B2C or B2B, and depending on who your niche markets are, your watering holes are gonna look different. But it's really important to identify some of those places where groups of your prospects hang out and make a concerted effort to actually be there consistently. And so when we're looking at watering holes, I said physical or virtual spaces where groups of our niche markets hang out. And so that could be, you know, online spaces too. It could be LinkedIn, it could be Facebook private groups. There are so many different places where groups gather. And I always like to make business development easy and as simple as possible. And so if we can identify a place where lots of the people that we're trying to reach hang out, then we're being efficient with our time. When we have time to do business development, then we are where all the people are and we're not trying to reach them one at a time. Now, I mentioned consistency in your networking in where you're gonna spend time. That gets us away from performing random acts of marketing. Random acts of marketing is simply when we do a little bit of everything all year round. Well, we will show up at this event one time, but then we'll go to a different event another time, and then we'll take six months where we haven't done anything. At the end of the year, you'll have spent a whole bunch of time in a bunch of different places, but nobody will have ever gotten to know you because you haven't made time to build any visibility or credibility. So just like in any other marketing, where you're spending time can and should be strategic and should be consistent. And so, Pick a few key watering holes where you can be there every single week or every single month and make sure to go there consistently. As we're doing that, that builds us, like I said, visibility, then credibility follows, then profitability follows. Of course, we've all heard people need to know, like, and trust you before they do business with you. And you don't give them the opportunity to do that if they only get to meet you once. So ask yourself, where are you gonna spend your time online, social media, networks, those kinds of things, and offline. Where are some of those physical water holes where your groups of niche markets, champions, or partners hang out, where you can start to build a presence again as we start to hopefully come back together this year? When we build consistency with our networks and top of mind awareness, it allows people to think of us first and feel best about us when the need arises for what we do. I don't know how often you've actually had a friend or family member who have bought what you sell from somebody else and you think hello like I do this you know usually that's because we just haven't done a really good job of actually reminding them and staying top of mind with what it is we do and the same thing applies when we're building our network they may hear about us once but it's not their job to remember us when they need us it's our job to remind them so if we don't build consistency with any circle of people then it's really hard for them to remember us six to eight to nine months down the road when they finally need what we sell. 